what is tropical wet evergreen forest isn't it so it was a, it is also known as a rain forest hmm. we will see some of the pictures so this is the rain forest hmm. i will show you something more but thing is that just you remember the temperature was 26 27 degrees centigrade average annual temperature rainfall 200 centimeter and above and third condition to actually key dry season very short dry season was very a very interesting uh, pollutant sky this is fog huh? uh, smoke not fog smoke s m o g when the sky become in extreme pollution condition the sky become violet color smoke hmm. standing in the juma masjid tower we have observed that uh, what is the smoke that means this delhi was the highest pollutant cities among the in the world in the, within 10 highest polluted cities and now delhi is one of the green cities it is if you take the name of the 10 green cities of the world the delhi, delhi will be one of them but still it is nearly 20 percent forest cover is there and what is the type of the forest this is a thorny so we discuss what are the places where the distribution of the forest and the percentage of the forest yesterday we have discussed about a 21.23 percent total forest cover in the entire country now come to the different types of the forest some of the forest type we have not discussed one of the damp forest or mangrove forest hmm? So last one you see this is in Sundarban or in Silica Lake huh? in Orissa. So you'll find this type of so other so different type of forest are there. Okay, tropical west evergreen, tropical semi evergreen, tropical moist deciduous, dampers, etc. You see what we have discussed, this, we, we did not discuss about the total 16 types what is our my intention is to discuss the how the words come to huh, the naming of forest types where from the moist deciduous evergreen mountain words huh, these are all the words are accumulated to uh, name a type of the forest okay that is totally governed by temperature rainfall and altitude and as well as the dry spell okay based on these things the forest types are name of the given and you'll find there are some different names also different types also tropical dry deciduous now we can understand what is tropical dry deciduous tropical thorn forest in delhi punjab gujarat tropical dry evergreen forest eastern Ghat. okay then subtropical broad sorry Broad means broad lift in Silong and Nilgiri. Subtropical pine forest, Orunachal forest, Kashmir, as well as in Silong, in this Meghalaya. Subtropical dry evergreen hmm, in foothills of Himalaya. I will give you these things, need not to worry. Then Montana, sometimes it is called as a Montana, sometimes it is called as a Montan. T A N E. We dot mountain here it is written Montana. Wet temperate. Himalayan wet temperate. Himalayan dry temperate. Okay? So there are different types of forest. And most uh, alpine scrub forest. Dry alpine scrub forest. Scrub means bushy. Hmm? So most of the only two trees are seen and rest are the bushes. So they are, this, this type of uh, plants are usually covered by ice and fog and all these things, photographs usually of uh, this type. So whatever may be, among 16 different forest types of the country, the most common is the tropical dry deciduous. Tropical dry deciduous forest is 38.7%. Tropical moist deciduous is 30.9%. 
tropical thorn forest is 6.9 percent and these three types of tropical deciduous forest accounts for more than 76.5 percent of the forest area in India. Nearly 96 percent of the forest are owned by government and 2.6 percent by corporate bodies and the rest are private ownership. You see 96 percent forest are owned by government but I have some different type of experiences. So in 2012 uh, the government of Nagaland, the forest department government of Nagaland came here with a project and they have hired me, not kidnapped. <laughs> I, I was uh, with them and one of my colleagues, Dr. Jayanta Deka, we were in Kohima. So in Kohima, the entire area is a forest area, though it is a capital, huh? Kohima city is there. The highest peak uh, in Nagaland is in Kohima and the uh, entire peak is covered by the forest and this forest is known as a peak forest, peak. Huh? And interestingly, I tr when I went there, a lot of leeches, this rainforest, typical rainforest, huh? different type of plants are there. I was surprised uh, that uh, this type of, for some ancient type of plants are also there. So I was uh, hired to identify, because I am basically a taxonomist, and in situ, for an in-situ identification of the plants. And PCCF, principal, uh, uh, then so many type, different uh, conservators, rangers, all the forest departments were there with me at that time. And we identified so many plants. But uh, I was very fond of some orchids. Okay? I used to collect orchids and I am working on orchids. So I, therefore, I asked conservator, principal conservator, he is the chief authority of the forest of that state. I asked him, sir, can I take this orchid? At least one sample. No, no, don't take. He immediately yeah, reacted like that. Don't take. You take my forest from my forest, not from this forest. My forest means, no, no, from our forest. Our forest means, no, no, government forest. Then what is this? These are private sector forest, peak forest and these are known as a community forest. That means community has maintained this forest, not by the government. Okay, earlier my impression towards Nagaland was somewhat different and when I visited there, my impression became totally reverse. Because he, he told me that only 20%, around 20% forest is under government sector and the rest are maintained by the community. So nice. But here in Assam, you see, we have some of the community forest in the name of Bari. And it is now finished now. Okay? The whatever in government forest are there, they are also encroached gradually. Also, have you, have you experienced, have you visited any forest? Namini question negative. If you have any opportunity to go to Nameri, you will find only the core area. Okay, lot of controversies are going on regarding the Kajiranga. But in Mana, Mana Wildlife Sanctuary, you see some of the reserve forest earlier in 2000, sorry, in 1986-87, what was the core area? Now it is nearly 60% only. The rest, Okay, already occupied by our people. So this is the different type of scenario in plains and somewhat different in the hills. Okay then, now you see. So these are the area, yellow portion is a tropical dry deciduous forest. <coughs> so you see tropical dry deciduous forest and this photograph you see this is the deciduous forest. There is no any stratification, only one type of all tall plants, trees are there and ground cover is uh, by some of the herbs or few climbers, these are weedy plants, okay. Just you keep your eye on the photograph and then you find out. This is the scenario of, this is the picture of a evergreen forest. 
Lower one is the deciduous, it is an evergreen forest. Lower one is from Lamding area and the upper one is from Kajiranga. Okay, so you see and the map you see so the green patches one is the littoral swamp in the seashore the deep green and less in the tropical evergreen forest so distribution mostly in Assam a part of Arunachal forest and in the northeast India they are distributed not even in Tripura up to Mizoram you will find in Arunachal also it is very less in the foothill areas hmm? tropical evergreen forest And you see the stratification, the black lines. Is it visible? Some of the stratification. And each layer is known as a strata. S-T-R-A-T-A. -A. Strata, that means the stratified forest. The layers, layers. Okay, one is the hard, sharp, small tree, medium sized tree, big tree. So like this way, they are stratified. And in the lower is region in deciduous forest, you do not find this type of stratifications. And this is the forest types of India, different forest types, distributed distribution of different forest types.